the James Webb Telescope has just revealed a truly unique phenomenon. Something truly cool and intriguing. A massive fingerprint in space. The image from nearly 5,000 light years away makes one wonder if Webb is a space detective. Did it just uncover a cosmic crime scene of astronomical proportions? And who are the culprits? Indeed, Webb has once again proved that it can capture cosmic details that were literally impossible to imagine just a few months ago. It is exceeding all expectations and proving that it is an exceptional source of majestic discoveries that baffle the imagination. The new image of the cosmic fingerprint represents more than just a cool picture. It is a message about a little understood, rare, unique, and truly giant type of star known as the Wolf Riot or WR star for short. What are WR stars and why are they unique? How did the cosmic fingerprint form and what does it mean? Keep watching to be amazed. Wolf Red or WR stars are rare and unique, yet they play a very interesting and important role in the galaxy's physical and chemical evolution. Only a few hundred have been discovered so far, mostly in the spiral arms of the Milky Way galaxy. They were discovered in 1867 by the French astronomers Charles Wolfe and Georges Riot, hence their name. Wolfe Riot, or WR stars, are rare and unique. They are extremely hot, young, massive, luminous, and constantly produce powerful stellar winds. It is estimated that the Milky Way holds as few as 1,000 WR stars out of the 100 billion stars in it. Despite this very low number, WR stars play an important role in galaxies. WR stars' mass can easily exceed our suns by tens of times. It is believed that they represent the last stage in the evolution of massive O-type stars. Astronomers predict that WR stars burn very quickly and hence die young in millions rather than billions of years. For example, our sun has a life expectancy of 10 billion years. Their lives end as they collapse on their own gravity in either type LB or LC supernova, which release powerful gamma ray bursts. They are very, very hot and their surface temperatures can easily exceed 50,000 kelvins. If you thought that our sun is bright in comparison to most common types of stars in the galaxy, dim red dwarfs, then imagine this. WR star's average luminosity is 100,000 times or more than our sun. The massive size, extreme temperature, and stunning luminosity cause WR stars to cause stellar winds that travel as fast as 2,500 km per second. Such winds remove up to two-thirds of the star's original mass throughout its WR phase. And that's not all. A WR star releases throughout its life kinetic energy similar to the amount that it will produce when it dies in a supernova. Most WR stars also seem to exist in binary star systems. We all know that hydrogen is a light element and the most commonly abundant in stars across the galaxy. Stars shine by burning hydrogen into helium in their cores, and later in their lives create heavier elements. But WRs are very different from other stars. They have an intriguing spectrum. So far, researchers found that hydrogen seems to be absent in nearly all WR spectra probably because their vigorous stellar winds have stripped the stars of it. So technically speaking, this makes WR stars sort of naked, and thus they are essentially star cores rich with heavier elements such as helium and other products of advanced nuclear burning. Now, let's talk about the majestic cosmic fingerprint discovered by Webb. As astronomers were joyfully sifting through the amazing images delivered by Webb a few days ago, they noticed what looks like a human fingerprint in space. The new image revealed a remarkable cosmic sight, at least 17 concentric dust rings emanating from a pair of stars collectively known as the Wolf Ray at 140, located just over 5,000 light years from Earth. The research shows that the two stars in the WR140 cluster produce shells of dust every eight years that look like rings that have taken the shape of a fingerprint. Astronomers believe that these rings formed as a result of a celestial dance the two stars perform. When the two come close to each other during this dance, their stellar winds collide, leading the gases they emit in massive amounts to compress and form space dust. The two stars' orbits bring them together about once every eight years, 
Like the growth of rings of a tree's trunk, the dust loops mark the passage of time. These rings are a result of more than a hundred years worth of dust production by the stars as they come close then far from one another. The result is a breathtaking pattern of a cosmic fingerprint that triggers the imagination. One NASA scientist compared the process of turning gas into dust to turning flour into bread. And just like making bread, particular ingredients and conditions must exist. The WR140 stars must come quite close to each other, about the distance between Earth and the Sun, to form the fingerprint-like rings. The process of WR stars makes this process possible, because, unlike most stars, they have no hydrogen which alone cannot form space dust. But they do have more complex and heavy elements, and thus the ingredients for forming space dust are present. As for the conditions for forming dust, as I said earlier, WRs produce powerful interstellar winds rich in heavy elements. These winds become cooler as they travel in space and then become compressed where the winds from both stars meet, like when two hands knead bread dough. Most wolf rayet systems are believed to form dust, however, none is known to make rings as wolf rayet 140 system does. This all has to do with the elongated orbit of the wolf rayet star in WR140, which means it is not circular but rather very long in relation to its width. One of the reasons their rings appear so pristine is because their winds probably sweep the surrounding area clear of residual material they might otherwise collide, which leads to pristine rings rather than smeared or dispersed ones. Here is an interesting theory about systems such as WR140. It is believed that their constant production of stellar winds play a role in the formation of planets and even stars, because once the star clears an area, the swept up materials such as carbon rich dust can pile up at the outskirts and become dense enough for new stars to form. What is even more fascinating about this is that there is mounting evidence that our own sun formed in such a scenario. Indeed, the James Webb Telescope and its ultra sensitive instruments such as the Mid Infrared Instrument were worth the buzz and celebrations when they came online in July of this year. The discovery of the cosmic fingerprint means that Webb is truly capable of observing cool, as in cold, objects at faraway distances and providing data about their composition. Would you like to see a WR star in the night sky? They are rare, but it is quite possible. If you live in the southern hemisphere and at low northern latitudes, you can easily see one WR star with the naked eye in the Gamma 2 quadruple star system in the constellation Vela, about 840 light years from Earth. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, the most visible WR star is the 6.7 magnitude HD 190918, numbered 133 in the catalogue of known Milky Way WR stars. WR 133 is located near the center of the cross in this Cygnus constellation. Happy star hunting! Keep your fingers crossed and your imagination in full throttle. What was a mere dream and fantasy yesterday is bound to become the reality of tomorrow. Space is not the final frontier. It is merely the beginning of a whole new massive, incomprehensible front for exploration and human expansion. For more awesome videos, subscribe, share, comment if you like, and do not forget to hit the notification button because we are always working to bring you the best, most accurate, awesome space and astronomy videos.